if you clicked on the video it says harbor is trash but i'm going to be going over the reasons why i like harbor first and we'll jump into why i don't like harbor but i would like to mention i'm an immortal 3 player and i've been immortal 3 for the last 10 acts if that adds any credibility to what i'm saying i hope it does so let's jump into this so watch the mini map right now if you look at this character the one thing that's super sick about him is you can do this you can block off this whole area, get in the site, and help your teammates plant, right? Now you can get the bomb down, and you only use that one wall that'll recharge after 30 seconds. That is super sick, and you can make cool plays with that. And after that, you can throw your orb like that, and that'll hold that angle for a few seconds. And then you can throw this over here. Click C again, and it stops, and you can have that angle be held. Now, let's go over the things that this character is really slacking in. My biggest gripe for this character is one main issue which is this. You cannot help your teammates from across the map. If you have Brim, you can smoke across the map. If you have Viper, you can put Utes on one side of the map and the other side of the map and have them both up at the same time. You can Omen smoke across the map. You can throw Acid Smokes across the entirety of the map. You guys get what I'm saying? So if they're going A, I can support A. If they're going B, I can support B. And I don't have to be on either of those sites. You play in the middle and you can help both sites, which is super sick. This character does not really have the ability to do that. And let me explain why. Look at the mini map. So let's say, you know, let's just say they're hitting B. So I got to run all the way over here like this to throw my team a wall and this wall is up for like 10 seconds and all they have to do is flash through it that's it and you're like well cam you wouldn't want to use the main wall your main ability to use that to stop a push right probably not you're like well you can use this Th look at the distance of these abilities this is as far as this thing goes how are you going to help your teammates from across the map it goes probably like what 25 meters maybe 20 meters maybe 30 maybe 30 you see what I'm saying? It's just not that good to help support your team across the map. My next issue with this character is the fact that there is no delay. Brim has a molly. Omen has a blind. Viper has mollies. Astra has sons and sucks. What you can you do with these controllers and their utility? You can stop pushes. You use their smokes and you use their other utility to stop these pushes and prevent the enemies from pushing your site quickly and dumping all this utility at you. You can stop pushes relatively easy. Look at this guy's kit. What does he have to stop a push? Nothing besides smokes that people will just walk through anyways. And I just played a customs with a bunch of people and all the smokes just got walked through. All the smokes just got walked through and you just got destroyed. There's no respect for the smokes. It doesn't do anything. The only thing the smoke does is I'll show you guys. It slows you when you walk through it for half a second, but it slows you on the other side, not while you're walking through it. And by the way, yeah, you can see it. It slows you down, it slows your teammates down, and it slows the enemies down. I think it'd at least be cool if you didn't get slowed and your teammates didn't get slowed by it so you can like flash through it and try to make plays. But you know, that's personally my opinion, but I think that's terrible. I really do. And I think that's going to make this character not good because why would you lock in this character when you can lock in Viper? The mollies and the orb create so much control and so much delay. Brim molly smokes creates so much delay. Astra util sucks stun so much delay and so much pressure. This character has none of it. Now let's move on to the next thing. Oh my God, Cam, what are you talking about? Dude, he has this cool orb. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. After 13 phantom shots, that'll break. In vandal shots, it's 12. So if it breaks, that easily, guys, you won't have no chance to do what everyone's saying, where you throw this down and then you plant the bomb. You're going to die before it. Look at watch. It takes you no more than two seconds to break that by spraying your 15 or your 13 vandal shots, phantom shots, right? And on top of that, imagine you have two people shooting at it. It's going to be gone in one second. You have three. It's going to be on even faster. So it can't even do that for your team because of how fast it could be broken. And this thing will stay up for about 13 seconds if you don't break it. But if you do break it, one, two, it drops. So now that smoke is only going to be up for three seconds. How much control does that provide? Not much. How much delay? Not much. It could just be broken right away. So it's not that helpful. And that is his main attribute to his entire kit. Tell me I'm wrong, guys. Tell me I'm wrong. Now you guys can be like, dude, his alt is super cool. I actually really like this animation. Like, look how sick this looks. Look how sick this looks. And everyone knows. So you stand in this, a, a light shines down from the sky. It reveals you, right? But you, what you do is you can just walk away. If you're just moving, the stuns won't hit you. So now what? Would you rather have that or a Brim ult? Would you rather have that or a Viper ult? The stuns don't even hit you. All you have to do is wait. You see a circle around you on the ground? Step. Circle on the ground? Step. And it's like every three seconds, what will try to target you. So you just fight, 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 move. You see what I'm saying? I, I don't have anyone in this custom with me to show you guys exactly, but you guys see what I'm getting at. Once you guys will play the character, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. It is just not that good. All it does is reveal the enemies. But let's say you're in a let's say you're in cover like this. Let's say this is uh let's just say this is smoked off. Okay? Let's just say this is smoked off. If you popped your alt, 
you can't see the lightning come from the sky that'll reveal the player's locations you won't be able to see it if you're smoked off or in a tunnel somewhere you won't even be able to see the revealing thing kind of like how the fade all works where you can't necessarily see the trails if there's a bunch of stuff blocking you so like the information part of that all is not useful if you're in that situation but otherwise it's pretty good it'll tell you where they are but they're most likely not going to get hit by your stun you know unless they're fighting someone and then the stun hits them and they get the kill and then they'll be stunned that's like the only way and at that point you can try to trade them but the stuns don't last that long and how many times have you been tapped through a stun i really like the concept of the alt but overall i think this character needs a fat buff to be competitive with the other characters for everything I've listed so far. How do I think they should buff this character? Few things, like I said. Make this orb stronger. This orb needs to be stronger. Maybe make it so if someone breaks this, like this, the smoke still stays up for the whole 13 second duration. That would be a cool buff. Maybe make it so you can throw it down, go play B site, and then it'll go up. That could be a cool buff. Like I said earlier, is you should not be slowed. They should buff this character by making it so you don't get slowed walking through this. And I think the stun on the alt, should be either faster or almost undodgeable because think about a raise rocket what are you going to do to get away from that so what are you going to do to get away from that in a lot of situations a neon stun a breed stun what are you going to do to get away from that everyone knows how bad stuns are in this game and how easily you can just one tap people out of a stun while you're stunned and just one tap them so i think this all needs to be buffed in a few ways and that just being the stun moves faster or maybe it, if it stuns you it reveals you like a silver recon something like that to add more control for the ultimate because all it really does is make you move out of your position and people will be like that's pretty good in some situations yes but mostly no so i want to know what all you guys think in the comments about all the stuff that i just showed immortal controller mains i just played with they're like this character is weird you have no delay you can't stop pushes and they don't think the character is that good now do the abilities seem cool yes do they look cool yes does it play cool yes is it going to be better than any other controller and worth playing it over any other controller no and a lot of people are gonna say hey cam why, why don't you just run double controller why would you want to run double controller with this character you can play brim and you can play viper why would you want to run like brim in this character you just run viper because viper has all that delay for defense viper can act as a sentinel she's so strong this character is literally smokes that no one respects so i'm gonna say i think the character looks cool i think everything about the character is cool but i just don't think i don't think it's gonna be meta drop in the comments let me know what you guys think and i'll catch you guys later